Hi everyone and welcome, it's Imogen here and in this video you are going to see my pack preparation of what is going to be in my backpack when I do the overland track. So I am all prepped and ready to leave for Launceston tomorrow as I am starting the overland track in two days time which I am so excited for and I'm going to go through now all what I've packed to go on my adventure. Okie dokie, to start with I have got my backpack which I got for my birthday which was two days ago and I'm so excited to use it for my first time on my trek. And then I've also got a camelback and then this is my food, is all food that you do not have to cook as on this nine day hike I'm going stoveless which I'm pretty excited to try out considering I've never even been on an overnight hike. Then in this bag I've got all my camping clothes which uh, hopefully stay dry otherwise I'm in a bit of a mess. And then here is my downgrade of my first aid kit because I looked at the first aid kit and it had so much stuff that I don't even know how to use so there's no point in taking it. But I've got duct tape in there so if in doubt anything goes too bad I'll just duct tape myself up and this should be fine. And then I've got my sleeping bag, my camping mat. My tent which I slept in once and I really liked it and then my boots which I really like my thongs which I'll probably wear instead of my boots for some parts haha <laughs> I'm kidding um, then over here I have got my gaiters my thermals gloves and then my waterproof gloves as well and then I've got my light proof um, my life's what's it called my lightweight clothes, which um, dry really quickly, so I've got two pairs of shorts, my trousers, and then some shirts, uh, long sleeve, short sleeve, and then a cute little hat that I wear for all my hikes. You would have seen that in my 60k hike, I wore this one, I love it. And then my red beanie, so everyone knows where I, well they can see me, which is probably not, I don't know if it's a good thing anyway. And then I've got my rainproof pants, and then I've got two coats, and hopefully that keeps me warm, but we'll see how that goes. In nine days of being in the mountains and then I got my drink bottle I've got my toiletries kit with my awesome shovel that I got for Christmas and then hand sanitizer I've got my ear pods which is really good if I listen to music or I'm stuck with people that snore it will be really great because I'll just put them in and listen to sleep music and it won't worry me so since I'm going stoveless you'll see in my other video all I need to take camping like cooking utensils wise is this cup and a spoon which is pretty awesome because I can't be bothered carrying all the cooking stuff. Then I've got my head torch and spare batteries, my map and then the guidebook which is pretty cool because that came today and I'm leaving tomorrow so woofed good time. And I've got my journal which I'm going to write all my thoughts and things for this year as I think it's going to this trip I want to get the most out of it as possible. And I know writing down all my thoughts that I have throughout these nine days is going to be like invaluable for all the things if I just didn't go on this trip. So that's why I've got that. And then I've got my day pack, which you would have seen in my 60k hike that I used and it was awesome. So I'm going to use that as well for this one. Then a towel, which I'm able to wipe everything down. And then also got my power bank, which is charging right now. And I think that is about it. So I'm so pumped. Oh, and also you'll see over there is my pack liner, which is just a garbage bag. I'm going to put in my bag. So I'm going to show next what it all looks like in my pack. Woohoo! I'm so excited. Okie dokie. I am back. And it is about three hours later. And I'm, I've had many breaks and I'm really exhausted. But I finally put my bag together. And it is practically bigger than me. As you can see, I'm here and this is my bag. And yeah, yeah, um, it's that big. But I don't even know how I'm going to do this. But it's got everything in there that I need. But I checked the scales and it weighs just a bit over 20 kilos, which is a bit of a downer. So I'm going to have to eat a bit of food on the first few days because it's going to be a third of your body weight, which I weigh less than 60 kilos. And this is more than 20 kilos. So I'm in a bit of a fizzle that way. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. But I think it'll get less as this, uh, time goes on. But at this point in time, it's uh, this is it. Finally put it all in one. Voila. I'll put it on and you'll see <laughs> how, it's, how it is. Alrighty. Leave it at that. <laughs> 
Okay, actually, I thought I would film putting it on, so here we go. Ugh. Here it is. I'm going to put it up on the couch. Oh, oh do I bring my laptop? Here we go. Alright, so, just sit down. Woo! And button myself up. So, there's that. And, oh, here we go. There's that. Oh. Get a bit comfy, comfy, and up. Woo! I am settled. All right. Now, oh, this is better. Oh, there. And I am up. I've got it on, and I've walked about five minutes, five, five meters, and I'm feeling pretty good. Um, in the mirror, I can see I have got it on. And it is webby. Hi everyone, it's Imogen here and it is about 10 past 7 and I'm in Launceston. So I arrived about an hour ago and I've just arrived, um, left my place where I'm staying tonight, which was actually pretty decent for how cheap it was. And I've just come from Woolworths and bought some like, supplies and I'm going pretty well. I just uh, kind of left in duct tape and rope in my bag so I had to go and pick that up and some cable ties so I've got all that taken off me so I had to go and spend an extra 20 bucks on all that stuff but I'm going pretty well now. I've got a free glass of wine and I'm doing super well on the plane so that was really nice and I'm now going to Hungry Jack's for my last hot meal. So I'm just leaving Hungry Jack's now and I just had my last hot dinner and uh, fast food for the next nine days which is a little bit um ugh, I don't know how I'm feeling but I'm actually I'm feeling so excited I'm so excited right now now I'm walking to go and get my breakfast for tomorrow and then I'll probably start thinking about bed because it's getting close to nine o'clock now actually it's just eight o'clock so I might stay up for a bit and I've got to be up early tomorrow so it's going to be an early night so I leave Launceston at about quarter to seven it's about nine o'clock and I just got my second free drink for the day first a champagne now a hot chocolate I'm on a roll <laughs>